Sum up the last week in three words. Oof. Um, intense. <laughs> Nerve wracking. <laughs> Excitement. Ah! <laughs> Growing up as a Saints fan, it's a massive derby. It's one of the biggest in the country, so um, yeah, it's a it's a big rivalry. What was your reaction when they went one 0 up? It was keep pushing on. We knew that we was going to continue to get chances. I think we was gonna there was going to be a moment in the game which would turn the game on its head, and we fully backed. Um, the girls to be able to do so. I think we were ready for it to be a physical game, for it to be uh, a game with lots of challenges. Um, I think actually when we went 1-0 down, I think the atmosphere at half-time, everyone was really sort of quietly confident that we, we backed ourselves to get back in the game. We've been in positions where we've been down in games before and we've come back into it and we fully believed that that was going to be the case and they obviously went and, went and showed that. Shelly whips it in and I just see Lucia rise above everyone. It was it was really big. It was a really good ball from Shelly and Lucia, she finishes. We'd had the relief of that goal going in and actually I think it was a really good time to then bring bring the subs on just to sort of re-inject that little bit, uh, little bit of energy just to get everyone going again. I think a lot of credit's got to go to Lisa. Like she did really well to get the flick on, and it doesn't really get much better than that. That's something that, as a Saints fan, like you'd always dream about is scoring in a in a derby against Portsmouth, especially like a fairly last minute one as well. So yeah, I'm just yeah buzzing all around really. <laughs> it's not often she gets anywhere near the ball on set plays. <laughs> not often she she'll get that little touch, but um, very very proud of her for getting on that um, and buzzing for her to get up. And what are the emotions like at full time? It's a difficult one. You want to enjoy it in the moment and then you want to get refocused. So it's coming back down quickly to, right, we've got an hour kick on. Next game is important. The ground it's quite old it's got a lot of respect it's got a lot of atmosphere around it so I think especially the Saints fan to be able to go into that and uh, be in and around it and be there with the potential to actually take points off Portsmouth in their ground I think that was a something that everyone really thrived off. Growing up here and about it um, the 4-0 in 2019 watching the men go out and perform they were the way they did you want to go out and perform as the same part of Southampton same club and also go and get that win. We didn't play that well. The hecticness of the schedule may have contributed to that, but I think as a whole it was a cagey affair. Don't think either team kind of really created any clear cut chances. Georgie! Georgie! Drop in a little! Drop in a little! Okay. We all always knew that it was going to come from either say as a stalemate or something that was going to be a little bit scrappy that was going to get the win. The message coming on from Marianne for me, Rudy and Alicia was basically just, just to run, just to really hit them in behind, try and get the ball in behind, move it, try and get that goal in the last 20 minutes.
the centre back behind me I saw she was stepping out so I've just stepped my body across just to hold her off which has allowed Rudy to bring it down, set it for Lucia. He's had a cracking strike and it's a good save from the keeper to be fair. Um, and Alicia's there to follow it in and just, I'd think if the Pompey player didn't get that touch on the ball, which still annoys me, she didn't get that touch on the ball, I do think I was there to um, get a goal at Fratton, but the ball's gone in the back of the net and it's just been, the energy's been so good. One, it's a derby, and two, Pompey are a good side in this league. They've been in this league consistently, they've got experience, they've got a good group of players, a good coach. So it was crucial for us to take those three points against them because build our confidence back up again after that Ipswich defeat is massively important. We need to keep picking up as many three points as we can if we want to get promoted, which we are focused on as a group. I just think if you win, you've got to celebrate it. You can then calm down afterwards, but whilst you win, you've got to take that energy with it and just focus on that to build up your confidence. Not arrogance, but confidence, which I think is something we have learned from. Keep training, keep playing how we play and just keep keep being us and keep driving for the three points every game. We can handle going one nil down, we can handle like dropping points against Ipswich and actually we're still in a really good position to be able to, to compete in games thereafter and make sure that we are putting ourselves in the best position for promotion.